Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome to our channel. It's your boy Ekima. And it's your girl Sarah, aka Ina. And so many other AKAs. I have a lot of names anyways. So a lot of you have asked about our proposal story. You want to know how it all went why down. he proposed, how it went down, the Who whole proposed? story. Was it me or you? Let's find out. Okay, so I'm I, gonna say. I think at the end of this video we'll realize who <laughs> Who, who proposed? Anyways, yes, I at some point in our journey, I asked her to marry me, and you know she said yes. So that's the story I'm going to talk about today. So I think we will start from basically, I met her in Kenya. We did a video about it, yeah. And that one first week of meeting her left like a very good impression, a sweet taste in my mouth, right? Uh, even though I didn't know how it was going to be because like we met in Kenya from Nigeria to Ghana, we went back to our like respective countries. I just knew that I liked what I felt and I just wanted to be in her life one way or the other even though like there wasn't any like future plans. We can't even see the future, right? Because there's no convergence point. Well, you know what? I wasn't going to interrupt, but let me interrupt. When okay. I met you in Kenya, right. I liked you. Like I mentioned, I had a crush on you. We talked all about this in our video, how we met. So go watch the video if you haven't. Okay. And I didn't think that it was going to lead to dating much more, like us getting married, right? Yeah. And that was because I could not see the possibility of me, a Ghanaian, like being able to work out a relationship with a Nigerian when we're not living together in one place. So the distance so, was it? So it was far from me. I had kind of like ruled it up. I did not say explicitly that I had ruled it up, but then like in the deepest of my subconscious mind, hmm. I had ruled it up. Hmm. Yeah. So, so so that was it for me. So I'm surprised you are saying that, well, you saw that possibility. No, I mean, it was more of a desire. Right? Okay. The desire was there, but I just couldn't like see too far down the line because I didn't see how we're going to convert. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I also Big didn't it. see that as well. So. I mean, so what happened happened, right? We kept in touch. We became pen pals. Like I was always texting Voice you, pals, video chatting pals, with you, right? You WhatsApp know, pals. We became friends and Thank everything. Thank God for WhatsApp. Yeah, but then um, we started dating at some point, um, maybe like some months later, and it was like. <laughs> so this is one thing I was going to say, right? Why did I choose you? Even though you like you were not there physically, I, I was in Nigeria, right? I was doing my thing. I was like, uh, we we're talking and all that. I had some girls in my life, and yet you were like the closest person in my life at that time. Even though I wasn't physically there. Yeah. Right? So, and that was fascinating also Why because was that? for some for several reasons, right? One of it was that there was this sense of peace that I find with you. Oh. Wow. Right, there was no judgment. I, I could be myself, even though we're not like in the same place. Maybe so I might think it's the distance, but it wasn't just the distance. The fact that even from Kenya, like I could like tell you things and we just like be ourselves. When we met in Kenya, there wasn't the, even though we liked ourselves, I, I felt like I, we had this little chemistry, but there wasn't this dance of trying to be who you're not, right? You know, there's this thing that especially like in Nigeria where I come from, there's this thing where you meet like a girl you like and everybody's just trying to show their good side. I'm trying to look cool, I'm trying to look chilled, you know, you're trying to hide your flaws, you're not being vulnerable. But then that didn't happen with you, right? And that just kind of stuck with me in my head that this person is, gave me a different experience, right? Meeting them for the first time. So that's one was one of the factors, right? But then when we started dating, even when we like started to start dating, for me that was also like a, a big factor for us to try long distance and then finally we were able to work out coming to Nigeria. Then we started dating proper, 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 and then we were in Nigeria, like we were vibing, chilled. And for me, deciding to go ahead to do life with you was, I don't think it was done much of a big decision, right? Because for some reason, you ticked a lot of the boxes that I was looking out for what? in a, what are in the a life things? partner. Okay, what are the things I ticked? Um, the boxes. You, you're smart. Right, As you have beauty, you have brains, you have ambition. Right, you wanted to become something in life. Right, you're not just a, maybe a slave queen, slave mama kind of 
person who is like just about the physical out, outlook but you had ambitions yeah. and our values aligned as well like you know because I, I noticed that you were able to like conceive big goals and your mind you had the capacity mental capacity to like like if i tell you that i wanted to be an, like an astronaut for instance i felt like you would be able to reason and say yeah this person can be an astronaut and i can actually see a path to supporting him to be an astronaut that was the kind of thing that i felt that i saw in you that i didn't really get from every other person right and there was just no judgmental zone you had this manner of like not being very judgmental which was not the norm right in terms of the people who have been with so it's not like you know people are not judgmental but it's just that for you it was like you can say nasty things right and i won't judge you like I'm, i'll find a way to understand why you did what you did because you are also not perfect it was that kind of thing that you also taught me when we started dating so but then the final factor for me in terms of focus for me I, I felt like humans should be able to evolve right especially if you're going to like do like a very very big thing like marriage I haven't been married it's before, a so long exactly, it's a long journey, it's a marathon. I needed somebody who can evolve, someone who can grow with you. Yeah, right? because definitely and, will change, right? Yes, yeah. we we'll definitely change. Our experiences will change, life experiences will change you, um, the country you live, your financial situation, even when you start maybe having kids or forming a family, things will definitely change, right? You know, you keep growing. I needed someone who can, who I knew would grow with me and will not be stuck in one past of. Um, I want you to be who I met 20 years ago. I mean, I'll be a version of that person, but I should be better, right? And then if I find new realities or better like aspirations, we should be able to disagree and commit or yeah. align our values. Yeah, totally get that. So it's a matter of unlearning and relearning, right? Yeah. And that was something that I got with you. And for me, that was also one of the factors why I said yes to you. Um, because I realized that when there is a different perspective, even though you hold an opinion, mm -hmm. right, and it's something that you have known forever, um, when I bring a different perspective, you pick it up, you listen to it, you assess it, you analyze it, and based on logic, based on facts, based on like understanding, mm -hmm. you are able to change your perspective. And this is not what a lot of people are able to do, right? Yeah. And but so then for me, I think that. Okay. That was that. So in addition to that, right, so when we started dating and all that, I was this very, very logical person. But then I also felt like that was also not very helpful. There were some situations that emotions needs to come in, positive emotions. Like, you know, it's not about maybe anger, distrust, more of like empathy, right? So I learned how to like empathize, know how to communicate certain things. For me, I was also this very logical person who would be like, you know, it's, it's wrong for you to be weak. Don't show your weakness. You know, you have to always be strong. And then I didn't realize how it was hurting you sometimes when I have to maybe give you certain feedback in a manner that was not right for the moment. For you get so even though I was very very logical, at some point it was not very good for us. Where I had to learn that okay, sometimes you have to learn how to keep quiet and know where to speak. So that's a different conversation. But yeah. I just wanted to keep it in that okay. all logic and no form of empathy or like some kind of emotional intelligence wasn't the best form of like. Uh, form factor for that conversation you get so after all these things i just knew that you know so i did also believe on this soulmate concept right where there's this one person that is meant for you and if you don't marry that person you are doomed and what if that person is dead in like what is the person is, is, <laughs> marry, is, is, right? is in china like you know it's already well, i mean so i don't china, know how the soulmate find a person. Thing, I don't know how the soulmate thing works. Like, there's not like GPS where you go on like one map and be like, okay, find my soulmate. I think somebody has to create an app for. It doesn't work soulmate. like that. It doesn't work like that. For me, I didn't believe in that find concept. I didn't believe in that concept that you know because some people religiously believe that there is somebody who is meant for you and that person is the only person who you can really really have is a this, good is this, and productive life with. Is this a religious with. belief? No, no, no. When I say or, religious, I don't mean like, like okay, religious like they ideology. religiously believe. Yeah, it's exactly. Not like it's a like a very strong stuff. form of belief. Okay, yeah. So I didn't subscribe to that ideology. I just felt like there's certain people who you're compatible with, right? And then who like who are compatible with you. And if you find that person, you also have to be compatible for them and also tick their boxes. Yeah. So if they tick your boxes and then you tick their boxes and yeah. then you guys are you also me, willing. You. Yeah. And you are also willing to like compromise and come together and like chase like these goals together, right? Then you you say you found a partner. And that's what I found in you. Right, and at some point, I just had zero doubt in my mind so that I, I was marrying you. So then basically, you are saying that, I mean, 
aside me, like fuck me. There could be other people. Can't you fuck That's you. okay. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I will. <laughs> <laughs> and there will be other people that could be compatible with you, right? Yes. I mean, aside me, who also fit the boxes, or who also tick your boxes, and you could have married any of those people, right? Because there is that compatibility where you see all of these characteristics or most of them and then they also see that in you right i'm just trying to drill down I, into this concept of soulmate not soulmate yeah so so in this case that, that there is a possibility yeah, right there is a possibility okay. another person might be married with two kids already <laughs> 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 anyways yeah but she's the one right so and i had no doubts about so i, I proposed to you in november your birthday yeah, on specifically birthday. on your birthday um, but then guess what i already bought the ring i had made a decision since like july right i had discussed it with my friends and said this is how this is what i want to do i think it's like may or okay so like june or july i already discussed it okay, and then so june was when you had decided you were going to marry me i think so and i don't i don't think there was like a date so i think maybe the action of making that commitment was made when I bought the ring, okay. which was when we went to Dubai. So in August, when, but then when did you actually make the commitment? How will I? Before buying the ring, I don't have like a date to say. Oh yes, this is. The, but I mean, it's like a slow fade, right? There's, you just Do you keep remember the man? I don't remember exactly when. I think it's a slow fade. Okay, so let's say June. Okay, for the sake of records, <laughs> it makes you feel better. It was in June, <laughs> but I think that it's just like a number of things, right? And they pile up on each other. But in, by August, when we went to Dubai, I was already fully convinced and like I just went to this shop in the gold market in Deira, Dubai and I bought a ring, right? I bought the ring. I mean, before I even bought the ring, self, I had a call, a conference call with my guys in Nigeria. I told them that, guys, this is what I want to do and like this is what I want to do. And like you know, I, I discussed with you guys earlier, but then I really want to do it right now. And I think it's the best opportunity for me to just buy a very good ring you know something that i'll be able to get it without all, all the markup of buying it in nigeria right to be cheaper to buy it in dubai so i went out and i bought the ring and then wait how, how did you decide on the ring with your guys when i was not involved how would you be involved supposed and, to be a surprise yes okay, i know I but then but then how do you decide that like this is the ring that i'll like right no no, no i didn't decide that with them that was just me okay so i just told them so that you knew i the ring propose that i would like I'll buy the ring but how do you know the ring that i would like First things first, I knew that you love the color green, it's your favorite color. <laughs> okay. right? So I went to the market and then I, I spoke to, like I went to different shops, like maybe over 20 shops in there at market that I spent like a whole afternoon sort of evening there. And then I got, I saw this ring eventually from one of the sellers who it was like an emerald stone, right? Emerald, so it's a uh, white gold. Right, and a very good engagement ring. It had diamond actually. Well. Yeah, it had some diamond around it, but then and with emerald was like the, the prominent stone there. And then that was just when I saw it, I, I just said, No, I think you will like this one because from the things I understand about you, like you don't like like flashy things. I know some people like one very big stone, the one that's you know, you can't put your hands in your pockets when you wear the <laughs> ring. <laughs> so I the ones that when you're wearing it, people will be looking at you and they want to cut your finger. Yes, that one. Right, that yeah. one. So I, I just think that no. you were more conservative. Yeah, I like the cute small ones. So I, I settled on this ring, I bought the ring, I got the tax certificate and everything. The, the seller said you can claim it when you're leaving Dubai or whatever. When I got to Nigeria, I was like, this ring, if it stays with me, I will just vex one day and propose. I won't be able to wait till November. So this was like August, September, October, November. Five almost, months. Almost like four if months. It was June, five months. No, no, no. Okay, no, but ring. you bought it in August, yeah. right? Yeah. So the, the ring was like with me. So then August. in between June, when you decided to propose, till November was five months. Yeah. And then in between August till November, when it was proposed, September, October, four months, November, yeah. or, or, or four months. So yeah. then what, what would have happened if, if during this time you changed your mind? Maybe something happens. What could have possibly happened? I don't know. For me, there was nothing that could have changed my mind at that point because I take my time to make decisions, right? Like when I decide so and I have that a not change. So if you, nothing that will happen from my side, Right. So if there's anything that would have changed, it would have been for me. Okay. Did you get? And I felt like at that point we knew how to resolve conflict. Unless there was like some very, very major, major, major thing. And that's like life, right? So we'll find a way to resolve it. If we really want this thing, we'll make it work. But if it's not going to work, I say also, I mean, you know, we would know. But I, I also knew that we were both fighters. 
right? I've seen us going through some, we've had some like fights before then. Well, I also saw that we had a framework for resolving conflicts that was healthy, right? We knew how to like manage things and we knew how to still care for each other even when we had conflict. So all these things made it like, you know, because it was like a very, very new thing for me being in a relationship where these things are, and we had these kind of pillars, kinds of conflict resolution, and liking each other, caring for one another, even when you have like conflict and all that. So if something had happened between them, I mean, I felt like we'll find a way to resolve it. Um, we had four months before your 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 birthday to fix any shit that will come up. Yeah, so and that was it. And then fast forward to your birthday, I all my friends knew what was going to happen. I mean, yeah, they were in the loop. Me, even yes. that was your friend. Yeah, you know when we talked about lying, I had to lie to you. You don't have to know. It's a surprise, right? <laughs> so on your birthday, I decided to like propose to you on that birthday. We went to the beach and we're having fun. But what, what was the initial plan? Because told me you had an initial plan. So one of the plans, so we had like two different plans, right? One plan was, was a plan to be, A and a plan B. I don't know which was A or B, but I you know the alternate plan was to do some kind of fancy restaurant, dinner, whatever. Uh, I'm not sure what happened, but that didn't also go. I don't remember the details right now. But for some reason, maybe we weren't able to get a reservation or we just didn't feel like we felt that was too cliche. Yeah. We just wanted to do something yeah. out there. Also, I think that the major thing why I chose the beach was that you've always wanted to go to the beach. Yeah. Right? You've been saying you want to go to the beach, yeah. you want to go to the beach. I'm so a I'm beach like, person. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, we'll be doing restaurants every like time, every almost day. every two weeks in yeah. Nigeria. So like, there was a bit fancy to do in a, in a new restaurant. So I said, okay, no, let's do the beach because you want to be in the beach. So we're at the beach and we're having fun, you know, letting water splash on our leg and everything. And then it got to like maybe past eight or nine. It was already dark, right? For some reason, I was waiting for one more of my friends or so, so that everybody would be complete to just do it. So we're just having like some kind of games dancing where you just get paired and dance with somebody. So I remember we're having these games where for one reason or the other, I don't know whether I was intentional. It was either you lost that round or I lost that round. And then one of us had to pick the other person to dance because because we had lost, right? Yeah. And then it's either you picked me or I picked you. And then they just had to play my favorite song. Yeah. And what so, song was that? Do you remember? Um, for your case by Oh, yes, me. exactly. At that time, it was my favorite song. Not not for now. And you're not, you're not, not now. <laughs> So yeah, I, I remember we actually specifically told the DJ that we, we had cues, we already discussed everything. We knew when to give him the sign and then he would play the song, that particular song for that particular moment. So everything was orchestrated, we planned it and it went well such that while I was dancing with you, someone mistakenly tripped me and I fell. It wasn't mistaken, it was intentional. I got to no, know it was the, intentional. The, yeah, you got to know, but, but then, then the whole idea like it was, a was that I tripped and I fell, yeah. right? And then you were worried because I was not standing up. Like I have. You've not seen me fall and not stand, get up like, you know, in like yeah. maybe 10 seconds. I was down on my knees. I was like, ah, so... I thought your knee was broken or something. And then while I was trying to get <laughs> up, you know, uh, my friend came in and then slips me the, the, the ring. Yeah. Right, the ring case. And we were waiting for you to come check up on me because that has to be part of the plan, right? You have to bend down and try to get me up. So if that doesn't happen, I will stay down. Like, I'm like, I'm here. <laughs> you have to bend down because... Pulling me up would open me so up. So what if I never came to I will be dead now. I will be dead up to today. <laughs> well, I can get you now. I'll be waiting oh, for you okay. to... Be, I, I didn't definitely. know this part of the plan. Really. No, no, I mean, that for me, that was it. You have to, like, okay. get down yeah. and check up on me. And yeah. then, like, I'm getting up like this. It's just in your face. Right? And then that just worked, right? You didn't even hesitate. Like, you went straight down to, like, okay, what's baby? Are you okay? Baby, are you okay? Like, ah, yes. You I know think what? I'm getting okay right now. And then... Will you marry me? And then that was the proposal. And you're like, and I was really surprised. You had this I was face of, are you for real? I, I was totally not expecting it. And you know what? The interesting thing was that you know at that time I was in Nigeria working in Nigeria, right? Yeah. And my lunch buddy had asked me that question like, uh, before my birthday, but she knew that my birthday was coming. She had asked me that question to say that, oh, what so what if he proposes? Oh, like what? I'm like, oh, come on, you know, all those cliche stuff. But then you I remember was that not sometime after it. I returned from Dubai. One day we're in the cab and then I asked you this question like, what do you think about marriage? Because we've been dating, right? And we don't really have that conversation about marriage. Because it's like, I never bring it's it up. It's non-existent for yeah. you, right? You don't, it, it, it's unlike, you know, some other situation where the girl is always the one asking. Yeah. Especially where maybe... Yeah, that was because you. I was, for me, I was not thinking about yeah, marriage. Yeah, so I was like, ah, what are we doing here? Just, what's I mean, going on? Like, 
how for what is what's your view on marriage? Do you think like you you want to get married? Do you want to like you do you see me as somebody you want to spend your life with and all that? And then you're like, yes, I really, I really like you. And then, even though I didn't go into this conversation or this relationship with marriage in mind, I think I want to spend the rest of my life with you because I love you and this and this and this so, and that. So I think I said something like, well, I never really thought about marriage. I didn't go into this relationship thinking about marriage. Right. But then, as it stands now, I think that you are the person that I wouldn't mind spending the rest of my life with. And I meant every word I said. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I didn't hear that last part again. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the, there was, there was, there was airplane. <laughs> Say it again, please. So I said that mm -hmm. even though I did not enter this relationship thinking about marriage, right? Yes. yes. With you, mm. and at that moment, I did not mind, mm. and I was very happy to like live with you for the rest of my life mm. because I mean, you are you, and that is all I can say. Okay, so I mean that's 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 very refreshing to hear it again, right? For you, like it is, <laughs> it is refreshing, and because I also had similar conviction. But even if like that day asking you that question was also part of the build up, I already got in the ring that I was going to ask you to marry. Me. So but at that time, that I already me. got in the ring, right? Yes, yes. I was after Dubai. Okay, but I was just so then what the if I had not given such a positive response? Then I would want to know why, okay. like you know, and then what okay, happened what to the ring? Mind? You I, sell it. I, 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 for me, it was not really about the brain. It's about our relationship. Yeah, I get it. Do you understand? If we needed more work, then we would know okay, we need more work. Okay. Right. So the point is that the answer could have been, I don't think we are there yet. We need to get to know more about ourselves. We need to understand our values. We need to know where we want to be in life. That's a valid answer. Right. That we're not there yet. We need to work on this issue. We need to work on that issue. Right. Let's say there are some things, some kind of compromise we need to make. We haven't decided. Things like your ambition, for instance, you need to go to school and you know how would that work if we're married? Do you want kids immediately? When do you want? Do you understand? There are a lot of discussions, but then we had already had these conversations over time yeah. where we knew where we stood on a lot of issues that could be like mid-term like struggles or like changing each or every one of us ambition. Right. So we've had this conversation, which I think like it was very, very important for people to have before you just dive right in to say, will you marry me? Because will you marry me is like, will you go on this long-term project with me where we build our life, we stay committed to each other and we help each other grow and develop? Yeah. You understand? Yeah, absolutely. Agree. So it was, a, it was a valid response if you had said, no, not this time. Let us work on this relationship more. Let us see how But then I didn't know why no, not this time, if everything was okay. No, no, no. I'm just saying that it would have been a valid yeah. if we had those issues at yeah. the time and we have not spent yeah. time. Because some people jumped the gun, I would imagine. Yeah. But for you, like... It because was... for me, aside the fact that I'm not certain that you are the one that I want to live with for the rest of my life, then I don't think there's nothing else that's going to stop me. Because is it, do I want to go to school? Of course I can go to school when I'm married with you, right? Mm -hmm. Or when I'm married to you, I mean. And that's even a better experience for me. Or of course I can achieve whatever I want to achieve when I'm married with you. So I don't think those should be reasons. I know that no, sometimes some people mention that no, these are reasons on, why they wait. It depends. If like I'm just this traditional guy who doesn't even have sense of But compromise. then that should not be the case. No, no, no. Then you won't even want to marry me exactly. that's what i'm trying to say yeah. so that would have been a valid yeah. reason to say no yeah. to my proposal yeah. you understand yeah. if i'm this traditional person would be like no 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 we want to have kids immediately yeah. i don't care yeah. and i don't care about you going to do your mba abroad like i don't even want to live abroad right you just know that like we have conflicting plans yeah, and definitely. like you know ambition for life and it's not going to work yeah then we're just coasting and it's something that we should have known even in the early stage yeah, of our relationship just because these are important topics that you need to talk about yeah i mean in the early stages yeah, so there was emotion, there was love, there was commitment there from us. But beyond that, there was also, we were very deliberate about what we wanted out of this thing, right? And also out of life. I wanted to make sure that, you know, we find a way to really align ourselves. Yeah. So that's what we spent our relationship doing, the time we were dating. So I think after doing all those, like, rituals, we knew that, you know, we were on the right track. And then we were also confident that we can figure out whatever life shows at us. So I think when I when we got to that point, we just knew that we could get married and you know we just keep working out this whole thing called life together. Yeah. So that was it for me. And then we got she said yes, actually. She actually said yes. She didn't even wait for people to say, say yes, say yes, say yes. You know, I mean there was that moment of shock right in her face when she's like, Are you for real? 
and then we were like, okay, say yes, say yes, and just cross her fingers straight up, put the ring there. And it fitted perfectly. Yeah. And really, I think, really I, I nice think ring. It was a very good ring. I know you really, really liked it. Yeah. Like you were, really you nice like, ring. I mean, for the next few days, right? For yeah. the next like few weeks, you were always just looking at the looking ring, at it. taking pictures of it. Like you and had like hundred pictures of. I like the, the fact that it used to glow. Like when yeah. you twist your finger a little bit, yeah. it glows. Really nice. You had like over a hundred pictures of yes. your ring on your phone. Of that course. You're just taking what pictures. Else like taking pictures, pictures of it. Of... You put it like whenever we took pictures, like even when we went to church one time like this, you always had your hand on my chest. It was like, yeah. can you guys see it? I'm so proud. It was so went to church <laughs> the following day. Yeah. But my birthday was a Saturday, right? Yeah. So Sunday went to church. And, and one picture we took, and then your yeah. hand was on this, like directly on my chest. Like yes. I mean, I was happy for you because like that was some moment that I knew that you were like also very very happy like there was just this very positive I, I, thing I was really happy even though I didn't think of marriage before and yeah. then it was really really a nice experience and I love that you thought about it that's why the fact that I never brought it up and here we are today so uh, we're still enjoying the journey yeah we're still having fun yeah and Come we're here. still sharing <laughs> no you're here what are you doing <laughs> Yeah, so guys, thank you. If you've watched this far, uh, let us know what you think about our story. Um, so we're just keeping it real, right? We're not like spicing things up, whatever. Um, also, let us know like what you want us to talk about, you know, subsequently. If there are other aspects of this gist that you want to hear, maybe there's something we didn't cover. Um, if you have any question, philosophical, ideological, you know, drop it in the comment. Yeah. We want to know your thoughts write down in the comments yeah so definitely give us your thoughts so and please we comment. thank you for watching and like this video if you do like it and i'm sure that you do like it and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our yeah. channel cheers guys bye <laughs>